My name is Archbishop Tabo Makoba, coming to you from the Center of Reflection and Development at Bishop's Court. Let us say the collect together. Most High God, majestic and mighty, our beginning and our end, rule in our hearts and guide us to be faithful, worshiping the one who comes as Savior and Sovereign, and who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 84. Listen to the good news proclaimed in the Gospel according to St. Luke, the 21st chapter, beginning from the 29th verse. Then Jesus told them a parable, Look at the fig tree and all the trees, as soon as they sprout leaves, you can see for yourselves and know that summer is already near. So also when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. As we have been seeing in Southern Africa since September, 
the coming of spring is announced by the greening of those trees which lose their leaves in winter. In a similar way, we can anticipate the coming of the kingdom when its signs are seen. Not only here in Luke, but in Matthew and Mark's gospel, Jesus assures his listeners that they will experience the coming of the kingdom within their lifetime. For ourselves, we must accept that a full understanding of Jesus' words may be hidden from us. But what is certain is that the first coming of Jesus and the destruction of Jerusalem have brought the kingdom of God nearer, even if it's God's understanding has proved to be different from our expectations. So Psalm 84 is a prayer of longing for the house of the Lord and perhaps our longing to experience that dawning of the kingdom in the here and now. So Psalm 84 emphasis is that it is not the house that is God's delight so much as its occupant for whom God is sun and shield. I wish all of you a restful weekend and a blessed Advent. And please continue to pray and work for an end to inequality, for an end to violence against women and children. Let us end with a prayer today. Lord God, thank you for your bounteous gifts and help us to recognize the signs of your kingdom and to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Thank you.